Constitution of Kenya, Chapter 4, The Bill of Rights. Part 1 of Chapter 4 is the general provisions relating to the Bill of Rights. Article 19, the Bill of Rights is an integral part of Kenya's democratic state and is a framework for social, economic and cultural policies. The purpose of recognizing and protecting human rights and fundamental freedoms is to preserve the dignity of individuals and communities and to promote social justice and the realization of the potential of all human beings. The rights and fundamental freedoms in the Bill of Rights a. belong to each individual and are not granted by the state. b. do not exclude other rights and fundamental freedoms not in the Bill of Rights, but recognized and conferred by law except to the extent that they are inconsistent with this chapter and c are subject only to the limitations contemplated in this constitution article 20 the bill of rights applies to all law and binds all state organs and all persons every person shall enjoy the rights and fundamental freedoms in the bill of rights to the greatest extent consistent with the nature of the right or fundamental freedom. In applying a provision of the Bill of Rights, a court shall a. develop the law to the extent that it does not give effect to a right or fundamental freedom and b. adopt the interpretation that most favors the enforcement of a right or fundamental freedom. In interpreting the Bill of Rights, a court, tribunal, or other authority shall promote a. the values that underline an open and democratic society based on human dignity, equality, equity, and freedom, and b. the spirit, purport, and objects of the Bill of Rights. In applying any right under Article 43, if the state claims that it does not have the resources to implement the right, a court, tribunal, or other authority shall be guided by the following principles. A. It is the responsibility of the state to show that the resources are not available. In allocating resources, the state shall give priority to ensuring the widest possible enjoyment of the rights or fundamental freedom having regard to prevailing circumstances, including the vulnerability of particular groups or individuals, and c. The court, tribunal, or other authority may not interfere with a decision by a state organ concerning the allocation of available resources solely on the basis that it would have reached a different conclusion. Article 21. It is a fundamental duty of the state and every state organ to observe, respect, protect, promote and fulfill the rights and fundamental freedoms in this Bill of Rights. The state shall take legislative, policy and other measures, including the setting of standards, to achieve the progressive realization of the rights guaranteed under Article 43. All state organs and all public officers have the duty to address the need of vulnerable groups within society, including women, older members of society, persons with disability, children, youth, members of minority or marginalized communities, and members of particular ethnic, religious, or cultural communities. The state shall enact and implement legislation to fulfill its international obligation in respect of human rights and fundamental freedoms. Article 22. Every person has the right to institute court proceedings claiming that a right or fundamental freedom in the Bill of Rights has been denied, violated, or infringed, or is threatened. In addition to a person acting in their own interest, Court proceedings under Article 1 may be instituted by a. A person acting on behalf of another person who cannot act in their own name. b. 
A person acting as a member of or in the interest of a group or class of persons. C. A person acting in the public interest. Or D. An association acting in the interest of one or more of its members. The Chief Justice shall make rules providing for the court proceedings referred to in this article, which shall satisfy the criteria that A. The rights of standing provided for in Clause 2 are fully facilitated. B. Formalities relating to the proceedings including commencement of the proceedings are kept to the minimum and in particular that the court shall, if necessary, entertain proceedings on the basis of informal documentation. C. No fee may be charged for commencing the proceedings. D. The court, while observing the rules of natural justice, shall not be unreasonably restricted by procedural technicalities. And E. An organization or individual with particular expertise may, with the leave of the court, appear as a friend of the court. The absence of rules contemplated in Clause 3 does not limit the right of any person to commence court proceedings under this article and to have the matter heard and determined by a court. Article 23. The High Court has jurisdiction in accordance with Article 165 to hear and determine applications for redress of a denial, violation or infringement of, or threat to, a right or fundamental freedom in the Bill of Rights. Parliament shall enact legislation to give original jurisdiction in appropriate cases to subordinate courts to hear and determine applications for redress of a denial, violation or infringement of, or threat to a right or fundamental freedom in the Bill of Rights. In any proceedings brought under Article 22, a court may grant appropriate relief including a declaration of rights, an injunction, a conservatory order, d. a declaration of invalidity of any law that denies, violates, infringes, or threatens a right or fundamental freedom in the Bill of Rights and is not justified under Article 24. e. An order for compensation and f. An order of judicial review. Article 24. A right or fundamental freedom in the Bill of Rights shall not be limited except by law and then only to the extent that the limitation is reasonable and justified in an open and democratic society based on human dignity, equality, and freedom, taking into account all relevant factors, including a. the nature of the right or fundamental freedom, b. the importance or the purpose of the limitation, c. the nature and extent of the limitation, d the need to ensure that the enjoyment of rights and fundamental freedoms by any individual does not prejudice the rights and fundamental freedoms of others and e. the relation between the limitation and its purpose and whether there are less restrictive means to achieve the purpose. Despite Clause 1, a provision in legislation limiting a right or fundamental freedom a. In the case of a provision enacted or amended on or after the effective date is not valid unless the legislation specifically expresses the intention to limit that right or fundamental freedom and the nature and extent of the limitation. B. Shall not be construed as limiting the right or fundamental freedom unless the provision is clear and specific about the right or freedom to be limited and the nature and extent of the limitation and c shall not limit the right or fundamental freedom so far as to derogate from its core or essential content the state or a person seeking to justify a particular limitation shall demonstrate to the court tribunal or other authority that the requirements of this article have been satisfied. 
The provision of this chapter on equality shall be qualified to the extent strictly necessary for the application of Muslim law before the Qadi's courts to persons who profess the Muslim religion in matters relating to personal status, marriage, divorce, and inheritance. Despite Clause 1 and 2, a provision in legislation may limit the application of the rights or fundamental freedoms in the following provisions to persons serving in the Kenya Defense Forces or the National Police Service. Article 31 on privacy. Article 36 on freedom of association. Article 37 on assembly, demonstration, picketing and petition. Article 41 on labor relations. Article 43 on economic and social rights and Article 49 on rights of arrested persons. Article 25. Despite any other provision in this constitution, the following rights and fundamental freedoms shall not be limited. A. Freedom from torture and cruel, inhumane or degrading treatment or punishment. B. Freedom from slavery or servitude. C. The right to a fair trial. And D. The rights to an order of habeas corpus. End of part one of chapter four on the Bill of Rights of the Constitution of Kenya.